All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comment. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomment.com. Um, this logo we're going to be recreating is made by Hastis Roblox. I'm going to leave a link to his Twitter in the description below. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. All right, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And uh, today's tutorial is going to be on how to make this logo, Noob Tycoon. Um, this is a logo by Classic Rampage. That is also his Twitter handle. So go ahead and check it out. All of the credits for this design goes to him. Um, let's start off. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to use our text tool. So we'll just go to this T icon. And uh, I'm going to choose a font. So I'm going to do, I'm going to use uh, this one, Ariston Comic. As you can see, and I'm just going to type out my text. So let's type out GFX Control T and um, hit Control T. And uh, when you go to one of these corners, just hold Alt and drag it up. As you can see, there are clear differences in the font. Um, his is more round, but it's still going to work either way. So we got this actually just to match the letters I'm just gonna do noob as well so let's scale this down and um, now you want to hold alt and just drag down just like that and it's going to make a duplicate hit T and change the text so we got noob tycoon all right Alright, that's all good. Um, now we're gonna do these text effects, which is very simple. Well, first things first, just hit T, click on your text, hit Control A, or you can just highlight it, and you wanna change your color. So I'm gonna select a yellow color. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually going to adjust it a little bit. Um, right click and go into blending options. Now you wanna hit Inner Shadow turn the choke all the way up now you want to turn the choke all the way up what this does is basically reduce the softness as you can see here and the size all the way all the way down as well now you want to move the distance as you can see and also the angle so change the color to the same white something like that as you can see adjust the opacity as you wish and now you want to make a new layer so just head down here and click on this icon it is the second button from the right side so just click on that and go to your pen tool it is this tool right over here right above the text tool now you want to change your color to white um let's see yeah you want to click up here and move your cursor to the other side now this time you want to click and drag and just drag towards this direction and once you are done you just want to complete the shape also make sure this is on shape so it creates a shape now you want to head right in between shape 1 and the text layer and just hit alt on your keyboard this will clip it into the text um, I'm going to change the background color real quick so gray and alt backspace on my keyboard there we go so noob it's like hoon. and we could put this on soft light maybe or overlay and just turn this down actually soft light maybe that looks fine to me all right once you're done with that um go back to your text layer and uh just hold alt drag down this will copy it and just hold shift and move it down this will lock it onto the y-axis so you're just moving it straight down instead of freeform so we got this and now you want to drag the FX icon on the second layer into the trash can this will get rid of all the effects and uh, you want to change the color of this one so go ahead and do that select his color <laughs> um, yeah so just move it here control T and you can resize this as you can see just 
move it um, in and uh, let's see right there and as you can see the 3d effect is not perfect so how are we gonna fix that we are going to make a new layer so once again click right here use our pencil and go to our eyedropper select the same color now we use our pencil and you are just going to click and fill in these gaps just like that now you want to hold shift and click on the shape tool so make sure you have shape make sure you have the top shape selected and then hold shift and select the bottom one hit control E on your keyboard this is going to make it all into one layer and uh, hold control click on the bottom noob text layer this one and also merge these two so control E now we're gonna make a new layer and you are going to clip it in just like that I'm gonna go to my brush tool and make the color black so you wanna hit D on your keyboard this is going to reset it and I'm just gonna paint just like that just to give it some extra effects um, over here something just like that and uh, we're gonna make this into overlay and just turn this down so he has these little accents on his text it's very simple make a new layer on top of everything and you just want to go ahead use your pencil once again the color is white click and drag and if you see here if we click um, the shape is kind of botched right so what you want to do is you want to hold alt click on the blue square right in the middle and this is going to reset the curvature of your pencil there we go we're gonna make this white put this on our text move this along as well and also this hold on let's make a completely new layer for this one since the shape of this is different to the rest of the text just move this up and now and now you just want to turn the opacity down so merge it all control e and just turn this down all right so what we have completed here is the noob text um i think it looks perfect i am pretty sure this is fairly simple i'm sure anybody could follow along so let's move on to the tycoon text it's pretty much nearly it's pretty much nearly the same thing so i'm just gonna speed it up um, we have our text ready, so let's change the color to blue. Boom. Go into blending options and shadow. Now this one's on overlay. As you can see the difference. Um, for the striped pattern effect, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use white rectangles. So there we go. Just clip it into the text rotate it control T and just duplicate this along the entire text so here we go merge it and just take this and turn it down now that we have that I'm going to move on and make the 3d effects that we need so boom scale this down but I still have to add this tiny bit of effect. Um, there we go. I'm gonna use white. Let's kind of brush along some parts like that. Uh, there we go. And I'm gonna put this on overlay. Copy it again. Um. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. So noob tycoon perfect now um, the last thing we need to do to um, before we finish the rest is to just f 
uh, make this dollar sign thingy, which is really simple. Um, goes to your rectangle tool, and uh, we're just gonna make a shape, just like this. And you wanna select um, this color, duplicate it, double click it, and select this color. And now you want to go back to the rectangle tool, change fill off, and go stroke, solid color, and change the color to this. So now we got that. Um, that's 15. So now we got that. Um, actually, I'm going to make it a little bit darker. Just a little bit. Um, go to rasterize layer, so right click. Now you want to hold control, click on the icon for this. And hit select, modify, contract by maybe 5. No, that's way too little. Contract by 15. Nope, select, modify, contract by 25. Now you just want to hit delete or backspace on your keyboard. This is going to give us that outline. Go to your ellipse tool, new layer, select the same color as the outline. Make a shape like this. Hold control and click on the icon for this one. Go to here, right click, select inverse, rasterize the ellipse layer, and just hit delete on your keyboard. And we're just going to take this, control T, right click flip. Um, if you're getting confused because I'm going maybe a little bit too fast, just Make sure you watch all the previous videos we have on the channel. Um, that's that's gonna help you out a lot. So, right, we got this. Let's take everything, group, copy it, and flatten it. Do inner shadow, and there we have our dollar sign. So, how we're gonna create this effect he has? It's very simple. Control T, right click, and go to warp. Up here, you wanna go to arc. As you can see, so we're gonna take this, let's move this up, move this down. Now we're just gonna take this and place it right over here, um, just like this. And also, we're gonna add a drop shadow. So, drop shadow, make sure it's on normal, color is black. Spread all the way up, size down, distance, just like that. And we're gonna turn the opacity down. All right. So with this, let me make a white background real quick. So with this, copy it underneath, just like that, and also right over here. So, how we're going to do this is we're going to take all of these and put it underneath our text. Alright, we're going to take these three um, and you want to control E to flatten it to make it into one layer, but I am going to group it first, then copy it, and then flatten it because I want a backup just in case I make a mistake. So, same thing with our text, duplicate it and uh, flatten these. Hide these for backup. We're gonna bring these up. So I'm just gonna color this so you can see this is what we are working with. Now I'm gonna go to my new layer. I'm gonna hold control click to make a selection around the letters. Go to select, modify, and expand by I wanna say 25 again. Go to the cache layer and hit delete on your keyboard. Alright. And if I could see, yep. And do the same thing, Tycoon. Select, modify, expand. Delete on your keyboard. And now you can see, we go over here, select, get rid of this. And uh, as you can see, we have the cache effect thingy. Um, take the backup and uh, just do the same thing on this side so select noob select modify expand 25 delete 
Tycoon, Slice, Modify, Expand, and Delete. Go over here, and boom. There we go. Um, now we are ready to finalize the logo and just turn everything into a complete um, composition. So we have all of this. Select all of it. Hit Control G, Control J, Control E. Hide this one. Now we have this. I'm going to center it. And now what we are going to do is make a new layer underneath the text. Hold Control, click to make a selection again. Select to modify, expand, and I'm gonna go for this time 40. I'm going to bump it up drastically. I'm gonna change the color to black. Now we hit Alt, Backspace, and um, there are gaps in the middle of our text, so we are going to have to fix that. And how do we fix that? Make a new layer, and we use our pencil, which, if you could not tell by now, is a very useful tool. Merge these two, and we're going to make this into a gray color, as you can see. And I'm going to go back to my previous background actually, and I'm just going to stroke white, just like that. Um, he actually didn't expand his border as much as I did, but that is completely fine. So, if I just... I mean, um, what I'm doing right now is I'm just making a new background so I can actually see the border, the background, the text. There we go. Alright, so take these two, group, control J, control E, and control T, right click and go to warp, arc. And as you can see, we pretty much have a finished logo. If you want to present this to a client, you want to duplicate it two times and just place it right on the corners. Drop the opacity. Go to the um, logo at a drop shadow. And go on 90. And, and as you can see, we have a finished logo. So, so look, um, I know this tutorial was kind of long, but I hope it helps you, provided you some value. And we will also like you to check out our website, gfxcomment.com. Make sure to use the code YouTube in all capitals for 15% off on all products. So you can add as many products as you want into your cart, use your code, and have 15% off of the entire total. So uh, yeah, hit subscribe, like if you enjoyed this video, it will also help with the YouTube algorithm and and uh, get our channel more traction. So thank you all once again, and I hope to see you in the next video.